Hello and welcome along and welcome to Little Norton. So I am really, really excited by this map. This is by GB Modding, who I want to give a big thank you to because he is uh, very much supporting what I want to do with his map, which is absolutely fantastic. Great guy and uh, and I'm having a great time chatting with him and getting uh, getting to do something on here that's a little bit different. Uh, we are going to be using this map to showcase the brand new Cavernland and Vicon DLC. Um, so we'll be getting uh, most of our equipment will be uh, Cavernland on here. And to match that, we're also going to be uh, having a fleet of Fent tractors on here. Uh, we're also going to hopefully get the uh, Maze Plus uh, and its two extensions on here. The Maze Plus mod and its two extensions on here. The map currently isn't ready for it, um, but I know that there's a version in the works. And, and hopefully we'll be able to, to have a play with that on here as well. Um, as a result, this is a slightly different series to what I normally do. Uh, I have bought a load of land, so we're already set up on here. Uh, we've got the main farm here, uh, along with fields 50, 49, 48, 47, and we have uh, the sheep pasture as well. So we've got a farm set up, so this is basically an already working farm. We have no equipment yet, uh, but we have a two and a half million pound budget for that. So... Uh, the way we're going to be working this uh, is basically as if we were doing a working farm. So, still going with the realism aspect. In fact, with the Maze Plus coming into it, we're taking the realism aspect even further. Uh, but, uh, this, is, this is very much not a challenge type series and more of an exploring the map type series which i wanted to do for a little while it was something we were doing a little bit of it on charwell uh but uh here we are yeah here we are planning to play some fairly realistic farming as much as i can so what i'm going to do is uh we have land and no equipment so we're going to visit the shop and part of the reason why today we're we're not really going to be doing any work on the land uh is because obviously with the maze plus coming in Hopefully, we're going to be changing the number of crop types and things. So, I don't want to get too far into making changes that I then have to go and repeat. So, let's come into here and we're going to buy our first tractor. And the first tractor is going to be our flagship tractor that we're going to have on this map. And that is this beauty. So, this is a Fed Vario 900 S5. Uh, it's 272,000 uh, with our with the DLC we actually don't need more than about 300 horsepower so this is going to be the biggest tractor we have on the map uh, it is uh, it is a prototype version of the nine uh, the 900 Vario, uh, the Vario 900, um, uh, based on the 1000. This tractor does exist in real life. I know people have made mods of this tractor, uh, or this shape in the smaller ones that don't exist. But yeah, this, I did check, this does exist, even if it's a prototype. So we're going to be getting this. We're going to put the Michelins on it. We are going to go with a standard wheel setup for now. We're going to add, I want to put the Fent logo in it, because I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, we want two sets. So I'm going to go with dual beacons on all of these. Uh, GPS, I think, is going to be a must. Uh, this, you could take the front fenders off. I'm actually going to leave the fenders on on these tractors for this uh, and, uh, and go with that. And the 930, because we don't need more than 300 horsepower. So, yes, we're going to buy that for 280. There we go. So the reason we have a two and a half million pound budget is uh, because we, we're doing the forage stuff. We're going to have to get a forage harvester and stuff as well. Uh, really, so that is that is the reason for that. I want to wait to go on this tractor. So we'll grab a weight. Uh, and I've got a Fent weight pack in here as well, which is uh, pretty cool. We've also got lots of weights that can be strapped down. Um, I am going to stick something fairly meaty on this i think we'll we'll go with the 1800 uh weight on this and i'm gonna i like to get my weights in the onyx so we'll buy that yes okay so that is the weight for this tractor 
and then we need to start looking at our equipment let's let's go in by brand here that will be the easier thing for us so uh, heading to Cavernland for here uh, we're looking to get a load of stuff from this so I'm not going to go with that cedar. I'm actually going to go with this at 260 horsepower. So let's, uh, well, we've got a front weight here. Uh, let's get, yeah, I think we'll start with that. So we're going to go with, we're going to go with this cedar. And we're going to go with this cedar. So you see what I mean by not needing more than uh, 300 horsepower. We will buy that for 52,000. And we will buy the front hopper. For that as well. There we go. So we'll leave our weight here for a minute. And we'll get this back to the farm. Uh, this will uh, this will uh, be planting half our crops. And we do have manual attach on here. So yeah, as I said. Real working uh, fent farm. That is what we're going for here. Now I'm not going to worry too much. I do need to hook those up. Okay. Fold it. No, maybe I can't fold it without the front hopper on. That's a good uh, good point. Not tried that so far. This this tractor on this piece of equipment is going to look absolutely amazing, I think, though. There we go. There we are. Right. So, lift that up. Let's have a look here. Fold sewer. Okay. Don't wholly know why that wasn't working off my control panel, but that's all right. So the way out of our thing is here, and yeah, I do like the look of that. That is absolutely brilliant looking piece of kit. So let's get this back to our farm, and uh, and we can come and get some more kit, because we need to come back and get that weight as well. Arriving at our farm, and we need to work out where the best place to put our equipment is. I think we're going to end up just sort of rearranging things a little bit as uh, as time goes on i'm gonna put this i think i think we probably want to go and put this around the other side actually uh it's it's one of those things where i'm trying to trying to figure things out and and work out i, I, I do love this farm this farm is nice and tight um plenty of storage despite that uh, and it just, it works well from that point of view. But I think we've got kind of a, a, a maybe a harvester stroke um, uh, area to, to store our other stuff around there. Whereas around here, yeah, around here we can store these bits. Which is good. Right, I'm hoping lowering this isn't going to unfold it. No, it isn't. Good. Will it let me drop it? That is the question. No, we do have to unfold it to drop it. That's okay. Right, let's not scrape it along the ground then. We'll connect those back up. Fold it open. Yeah, my uh, side panel is now responding to this. So I don't know what that was. That is uh, interesting. And then we'll turn this round and drop this off probably beside it. I think we'll, I think what we'll find with this shed is we Oh, no, actually. No, no, no. We'll put this in front. Our other cedar... We'll bring our other cedar back next. But our other cedar will back in and, uh, and should store right next to this very nicely. So let's drop that down. Uh, disconnect it. There we go. Right, we'll take this back to the uh, shop then. And we'll go and grab our second... Well, we'll go and grab our planter. Back to the shop. And let's hook up this weight first. As we want to get that back. Uh, and then lift that. There we go. And along with that, we're going to get our next piece of kit. So we're in the Converland again. And we want to grab this. So there's uh, there's two pieces of, uh, of equipment here. This one's 12 meters. This one's 9 meters. I think I just, in general, prefer... Yeah, that's only 145 horsepower. That is 180. 
which is really interesting. But this does seed and fertilizer. This just does seed. So I think we will uh, we will go with that. I don't think you can hook up the uh, the front uh, bits of this and do fertilizing at the same time. So uh, yeah, and it pretty much matches our other one. So our other seeder uh, that is only a six meter. I'm not going to go. We we got some small fields as well as some large ones. So we're going to go for this. It's not uh, not too crazy. So let's uh, buy that sixty nine thousand. And we bought we got bought a big tractor and two seeders so far. Spent five hundred thousand, half a million pounds on uh, what five pieces of equipment. But this is this is our biggest tractor. We are not going any smaller, uh, well, any bigger than this. So uh, yeah, let's get this back to our farm as well, and uh, and then we can look at getting our second tractor. Okay, let's pull into the yard. Can I get this round here? Oh, this is that is. Oh, okay, straighten up, straighten up. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, got that in here. Let's bring this round. And yeah, one of the nice things about this yard is although it is tight for the most part, it does have uh, it does have enough space to maneuver. So that is for me that's that's great. And you can see here what I was talking about a minute ago. This is why we didn't put the front hopper down this side, because this cedar will just slot there really rather nicely. Now that should mean that we can seed everything but potatoes. Uh, I'm tempted to have a go at potatoes on here, but we'd need a very big piece of equipment to do that. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that at the moment. And I think, why don't we have a look in here? I think this barn, yeah, this barn will be perfect for storing our tractors. So we'll bring this round. And tractor can go in here. I do like that large vent logo. That is pretty cool. And there we are. So back to the shop. There we go. And we'll get our second tractor. So second tractor, we're going to go for... Uh, we want two medium tractors we're going to go for. So we've got two choices here. And I am going to go for this as our next one down. So sli slightly older Fent uh, 800 Favorit. Uh, pretty nice looking tractor this, I think. Uh, I'm going to put the Michelin tires on it. Uh, we've got uh, standard main color. I can't, I, you know, I've got these, I've got various choices on what we can do for our colors here. So we've got the nature green, the classic. I'm, I kind of really want to go for the classics, a <laughs> classic on this, um, which we could do with a variation on the wheels, but uh, no. Let's 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 keep the let's keep it nice and classic. Uh, design no widening, uh, widening, widening, and warning signs. No, we'll just we'll just keep it standard. All terminals. No, nope. we've not got a Cavernal in terminal, so we won't put that on. Yes, we want GPS. Uh, I think this tractor isn't too old to have GPS on it. I, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, and then with this, we're not going to go three. We're going to go 260 horsepower. So we're going to get um, the uh, 818 uh, and then no front load. I'm amazed that a tractor of this size can have a front loader attacher on it. But yeah. We're going to buy that. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then I want to get these two mowers. Uh, it requires 280 horsepower. So I'm slightly down on the horsepower on this tractor, to be honest. We want 280. Uh, we want this to be our mower tractor as well. So let's get this just into the shop quickly. Give it a quick upgrade to its engine. Ooh. Good engine sound on that, I think. Well, that might be one of the standard ones. No braking on it to speak of, though. Let's just do that. Yeah. Customize that. Let's put the... So we're going to go for the 222. 280 horsepower. That should run our mowers. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, the biggest power requirement we have is the mowers. 
And that is, uh, and we're going to get both of these in the convenience setup. So, yes. Okay. And uh, Cavernland. And we want it with the rower on the back. So, uh, yep, yeah, buy that as well. And that gets our mower set up. And this should run that fine. So, bring this out. And we'll hook this up. Yeah, nice set of mowers, these. Very nice set of mowers. But it's part of the reason why uh, not having a side mower is kind of why I wanted to uh, to get a tractor. Whoa, no, fold that up. I don't want to put it down. We want to get this into position here. Yeah, brakes on this fence, not great. So we'll grab that. So yeah, I say this is a mid-range tractor. It is just under. It's 280 horsepower. Our next one is going to be about 200 horsepower. So we're, we're slowly dropping down at the horsepower. Uh, a couple of uh, fairly large tractors at the top end. But uh, this being older means that it's, uh, it, it's a cheaper tractor to buy. And I didn't want to go mad with this. I wanted to get a range of tractors. So let's get this back to the farm and uh, and get these dropped off. Right, so where shall we put these? I think we will go into the main farm with these. And because these are bits for us to use uh, to, create the, uh, to create the feed, will this fit in this shed? I don't think this will, will it? Ooh, that's tight. So what I wanna do, is put this in here so we'll drop that down touch the hoses and drop it uh, and then I'm gonna spin around this may not be the greatest place to put this to be honest it's quite a lot of maneuvering to get them in and out which would be a bit of a pain uh, but I don't know where, I, as I said, we're probably going to put stuff away and then re, uh, sort of move it about and, uh, and get it uh, into various places. Because, yeah, I think we've got, uh, I've got a little bit of work to do to work out where everything should go. So that is down. Let's, we just did lower it, didn't we? No, there we go. Now we've lowered it. Attach the hoses and drop it off. There we go. Right, I'm going to head back up to the uh, shop because we need to go and get... Well, we need to go and get some more bits and pieces to uh, to do our farm with. So what's next? We have our cedar, our planter and our mowers. So, looking under here, uh, we are going to need a baler eventually, but... I think we're going to head back to the Converland bit here. Uh, we need to get a cultivator. So that is a five meter cultivator on here. Uh, we're going to need a sprayer as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, and that, yes. So next thing I'm going to get is our cultivator. Uh, we'll put that on here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, nothing uh, to, to add to this. Five meter cultivator should do us great. Let's uh, buy that. Very simple. And to, to offset that, this recommends an SB1600. Uh, so we will get an appropriate weight. Uh, there is. Yeah. That is uh, huge, that fent weight. So let's get... Uh, 1600 that would be uh, another one of those actually would do quite well uh, jump to the 1800 so yeah let's uh, let's grab another weight like that and that in the onyx and buy that yep and then that can be put on here might need to get the no we're good we're good oh just catching it around the other way on with that 
Oh. And then we'll hook up to our cultivator. And there's something I want to test on the way back as well. Uh, shouldn't need to do anything with the bits or the pipes. Let's get this back to the farm as well. Back into our yard. And actually, I want to test something on the way through here. We've used a little bit of fuel. I don't know whether this needs refilling or whether this is just fuel. Let's find out. Yes, so... Okay. Absolutely awesome. This is not just a purchase point. You need to transport diesel or fuel to that uh, in order to use it. So we will be doing that. I am going to have to get a fuel trailer um, for us to, to transport fuel to that with. We do have the uh, the tanker mod enabled. So that is good. I, I absolutely love that. That is brilliant. That is so, so cool. Uh, right, we're going to park this tractor up and uh, and head back up to the shop. Uh, having done our first two tractors, we are going to have... Now, I'm trying to work out. I think it's five tractors on here is my plan. Uh, and there's good reason that. We're going to have one that will do the, uh, will do the sheep. And uh, I think that's... This one that is still flashing. Yep. This is still in reverse. So we'll get it out of that. There we go. Perfect. So there are our first two tractors. Let's get on to our third. So back to the shop. And let's pick our third tractor. So again, we're going mid-range, medium tractor. And with this one, uh, we are going to go for... This, the Fent 740-420 Vario S4. Uh, we want to go to sort of 2... Yeah, 209 maybe. Just, yeah, about 200 horsepower we want on this. Uh, so the 720 should do us... Uh, 720 Vario Power should do us quite nicely. GPS, yes, please. Uh, no front loader attacher. We're still not at that point yet. Uh, we Again, I want the Michelins on it. Uh, standard wheel setup design. We're going to go with the slightly different uh, Dessling, Dessing line. Uh, so, uh, yeah, a little bit of variation. And then dual beacons on the top. Looking, uh, looking very, very nice. Yep, I think that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, main colour, yeah, <laughs> that's very tempting as well. But no, as I said, we're going to stay with the Fent Nature Green for all of this. Uh, oh, we do have the Fent Classic as well. I think we might go with the Fent Classic on this. Uh, design colour, again, Fent Classic. Uh, like that. So uh, that works well with our uh, our setups. And, uh, and yeah, lots of different choices here. Uh, that might be a, that might be a nice little variation there. I think we'll go with that. So that's the, uh, that's the one we're going to go for our Fence 720. So this is going to be our tractor that does a lot of carting for us and things like that on the farm. It's going to be sort of our, our general, um, drive about tractor. So let's buy that. And, uh, and as a result, we need to uh, get some uh, other equipment for it. So looking uh, again under our covenant, because we're still working our way through this stuff. What we need now is... Uh, I think we're going to need uh, a solid fertilizer spreader. I think we're going to go with... These as our sprayers as well, but we'll get to that when we get to we'll get to these when we get to the sprayer tractor actually. So that's fine. Um, we could take this back, I think, at this point. We are going to need the tether. So uh, yeah, let's grab that and buy that, and uh, we'll get this back. Uh, we'll also grab our front weight for this. Now this tractor we could probably do more than uh, a couple of runs with. Where are we? No, there we go. Weights. 
uh, and wait on this. This one, I think we can... Have we not got a Fent weight here? I don't think we do, no. So uh, we're going to put the 750 Fent weight on this, I think. Again, Onyx is my colour of choice. Uh, although... We could go with the grey, considering the setup of our tractor. But I'm not. Buy that, yes. Okay, back, back, and back. And we shall head over and grab this. So there it is, our Fent 720. With our Cavernland header. So yeah, as you can see, I'm tr what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm not I'm I'm trying to have none of my tractors be the same setup. Okay, there we go. That lift that up, and we can get this hooked up here, like so. And away we go. As this is again part of our grass and our uh, a cow feeding setup, we're going to stick this in this side shed here. Should be, yeah, fits under the door. That's good news. And in fact, with the size of this tractor and everything, we should be able to get this in here, like so. Select the right bit and drop that off, and then we can head back up to the shop and uh, and get the really lovely bit of kit that I want to get on here. And that, of course, is the Vicon Baylor. So we are gonna. What we're gonna do is uh, is we're gonna get this uh, in the Cavernland. Because we're going, basically trying to go Cavernland uh, branded stuff all across here. Uh, Michelin tyres on it. Uh, and I'm going to go with the uh, black wrap. Uh, and uh, yeah, there we go. I really like that. So we'll buy that as well. And get that. We are down to, we are just under one and a half million. So we've spent a million pounds so far on here. And we've still got two tractors to get. Uh, sprayer, spreader, front loaders, uh, combine, and forage harvester. We've got a lot of stuff still to buy. Thankfully, our, our next two tractors are not very expensive. So that's good. Oh, wow. I do love this baler. This baler is awesome. And we'll get it into this barn here. Along with the other stuff that we've uh, that we've got from here. Not Quite, again, not quite so easy to manoeuvre in here, I think. But until I until I work out a better setup for uh, where to put this grass equipment, I think this is fine in here. Yeah, we didn't stick to the edge enough there. So let's try that again. Burst this in. Perfect. And... Drop that off. It's a little bit crooked in there, but it will be easier to get out like that. Uh, then, I think we need to get... We're going to need a trailer to transport stuff. And this is when we start uh, getting stuff that we don't have from the Cavernland stuff. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's go grab us a trailer. And for our trailer, what we're going to get is going to be... Uh, obviously, there's not a Cavernland or a Vicon trailer, so we're going to get something pretty cool. Uh, released by uh, 4D Modding, this Smith Supercube is going to be absolutely perfect for what we want. Obviously, we're not wanting it in the John Deere colours. We'd like to get it in Fent ones. Uh, we go Fent Nature Green. In fact... Uh, yeah, we're in John Deere. Fat Nature Green is not massively different. Uh, I'm going to put the back. Let's see if we can put the back in the Fent Red. Yes. 
I think that is uh, I think that is a good setup for that trailer. Uh, so capacity, we want we want to be able to up and down that. That that should be about right for what we want. Uh, standard design, add toolbox. Uh, oh wow, what are all the optional things on this? There's the toolbox. So standard toolbox. RT power brake. Okay. Okay, let's take all the options on this. And this is brand. We want the Michelins and. We'll go with the slightly cheaper Michelins. Uh, and then we want a UK Reg. There we go. Perfect. Let's grab that. Then. Like so. But yeah, unfortunately could not get that in the Cavernland colours. But we'll do nicely. Uh, interesting in that it has more of the uh, Fent colours than our tractor does that's pulling it. But uh, it will work nicely. Let's hook that up. And uh, and get that back as well. And with that back to the farm. Uh, we just decide uh, need to decide where to put it. I think our best bet is probably going to be in this shed here. Uh, it's going to be the same place we put the combine header I think. So let's just uh, squeeze this down here. And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll stick. We'll stick this in here for now. If it's uh, if it becomes a problem, as I said, we'll move things about. This shed is bigger than it looks. There we go, and detach that. And uh, and I think that will do for now for this tractor. So we'll go and put this tractor away, uh, and we'll go and get uh, what is probably going to be determined as our sprayer tractor. I don't think we're going to end up getting all of our equipment today. To be honest, looking at this at the moment, we are. Uh, yeah, we're three tractors in. Time to get number four. And for that, we want to head back up to the shop. There we go. Uh, and our fourth tractor, that is the start of our, of our two small tractors. And that is this. So this was recommended to me last night uh, in, uh, in my live stream. And uh, I kind of went to look at it and went, yeah, that, that will do nicely. That will do great as a little tractor that we can use to do the sheep. It will also do as a great little tractor for us to do um, to do spraying and stuff like that in. So that's what we're going to do with this. Uh, we are going to uh, get, again, the Michelin tyres. Uh, we only have wide tyres that we can get on that. That's fine. Uh, we are going to want to do, eventually... We should be able to get... Where are they? There they are. So this will be the spraying setup on it. Uh, it's an extra tire. So we'll get that to begin with. Uh, we're going to leave the fenders on it. Uh, we want the beak. Okay, we can only have a left beacon. So we'll put the left beacon on it. Uh, uh, no GP... Oh no, spraying tractor. So we do want a GPS. We'll get... Uh, it does actually add the GPS onto it, which is brilliant. Uh, and then engine setup, we've got 80 horsepower, 90 horsepower, 105. I'm going to go with 105 horsepower on this. Takes this to 83,000. Uh, I'm not going to put a front loader attacher on it because we are going to have a front loader tractor. Um, and that should do us pretty nicely. So let's buy that. Yes. Okay. And then to go with that... Uh, we are going to grab ourselves the Cavernland Sprayer. And uh, so this is the iExter, I think is how you pronounce that. Uh, 18, I think for a, a small British or a British farm like we're running here, 18 metres will probably do us quite nicely. Uh, so we'll take that and we will buy that for 26,000. Where are we with our money? We've got 1.2 million left. So that's okay. Uh, and front tank as well. So let's uh, buy that too. Yep. And there we go. So sprayer tractor and sprayer. Should do us absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. little uh, little tractor to, to sort of potter about with. Uh, do our sheep with. Uh, do a bit of carting stuff back and forth with. 
should be great and uh, and do as well uh, there we go and hook this up at the front as well uh, so this will also do um, solid uh, fertilizer spreading too nice little engine sound on this so uh, let's get this back For now, I think we can put this into the shed with our planters. I don't think... Yeah, I did... I, it's, it's a good question as to where everything's going to go. We haven't got much on the outside at the moment. But, uh, yeah. I think we might end up putting our grass stuff... Uh, over here and maybe using that one around the side as a spray shed or yeah I don't know at the moment it's uh, what do you guys think where do you where do you think is the best place for us to store our bits and pieces uh, um, I'm intrigued as to what you think All right let's take that off and that off and turn this around yeah what do you think is the best use of space uh, and uh, and where to put everything uh, we're gonna be there we are right uh, we're gonna be uh, yeah doing that grass field and things so that that'll be good let's uh, let's head back up to the shop and grab the fertilizer spreader and await for the front of this uh, and then that's, that is this little tractor done as well. There's a final bit of kit for this tractor under here. We have got our spreader. There we go. So details on that. And uh, yep, that's what we want. So let's buy that. And then we do need a thousand, uh, yeah, we need a thousand pound weight on the front of this. Uh, sorry, a thousand kilogram weight on the front of this. So we'll add one of those as well. And uh, now we do have a fent weight here. How big is that? Huge. So uh, it's either the 750 or the 800. Which is a bit of an issue. Or we could get out, grab an Agco weight. Because, of course, those are also what Fent is part of. So, 1,500. There we go. That one will do nicely. Yeah. And we'll buy that. And that will do that, too. Perfect. Let's get this hooked up. It's gone a little bit overcast. Oh, no. A bit further back bit further back hook that up lift it up there we go and then grab that excellent so get this back and then that is that done with this tractor this can go with the sprayers over here. Like so. And drop it down. Oh, get it. There we are. Drop that off the back. And we are all good. So this can go in here, nicely parked up. And just, that weight does look a little bit ridiculous on the front of this tractor. I will say that, that is, that is a huge weight on the front of this tractor. It is needed, um, but yeah, that is mad. Look at that, that is our tractor so far. Uh, so, on to our fifth and most controversial choice for on here. We're bringing it back. The Fent GTA uh, 380 Turbo. So, yeah, I love this tractor. This is going to be our front loader tractor for this farm. Uh, we can put, uh, we can put the Michelin tyres on it. Uh, we want to put the dual 
uh, beacons on it. No GPS. There's no way we're ever going to need a GPS with this. Uh, we've got a choice of uh, three engine sizes. I'm going to stick it in the middle. Uh, uh, and we want the front loader attacher because we're going to need it. So uh, there we go. That is our front loader attacher. Let's buy that. And get up to the shop for it. There it is. I could, yeah, I couldn't have an entire Fent farm and not have that. Uh, so what we want to do is we need to get front loaders. There's a specialist front loader for this tractor. Uh, when I find it, there it is. Uh, yeah, because of the way it attaches. Uh, we're going to go with the standard main color. Yeah, we're going to purchase that. Uh, and then I am going to get, uh, we're going to go with these uh, ones here for this. Uh, and initially, I think I'm going to get uh, a bucket for it. So we've got the standard universal bucket there. I think that is, do we, I know we've got these Flegel buckets. So we're going to use one of these. Uh, I think the 1850 is the one that I want. Uh, I'm going to leave it. I, I really love that look on it. So I'm going to buy that. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then there's something I forgot to get earlier. I need to add in here the plow. I completely forgot to buy the plow. So we'll get this back on this tractor as well. So buy that. Yes. Okay. So there we go. There is our GTA Turbo. I love this tractor. It is absolutely awesome. So we can't move the bucket until we've got in here. So we might have to nudge the bucket out of the way a little bit. Yeah. Connects up. Now we're all hooked up. Let's back it up. And hook it up to here. So we haven't we haven't seen uh, this since Meadow Grove, I don't think. And I'm trying to think. Oh yes, it's, this has a weird thing, where it only works if you have it selected. So you have to remember that when using this. And then we'll add the plow onto the back. Lift it up. Fold it up, hopefully. Let's see what's going on. I think we haven't, have we not hooked up the, there we go. Fold it up. And this rather ridiculous setup, and we can get this down the road and, uh, and back to our farm. I love this tractor. We did have what we had one of these on, uh, on one of my dad's farms. And yeah, I have a very soft spot for this tractor. Let's reverse it up. Uh, let's reverse our plow up and into here. And I think we have to unfold the plow in order to put it down. So uh, let's unfold that. So that that will go there. Yeah, in fact, that's a great way to park that plow. Down it goes. And disconnect the pipes, disconnect that. And we'll go and put this into our shed with our other tractors. When that is all set up. We have, uh, yeah, there's lots and lots of mouse controlled stuff on this. But, uh, yeah. That does it. Oh, turn that off. Excellent. Uh, so, yeah, that is uh, that is where I'm going to leave it. Uh, we have got five fent tractors ranging from 300 uh, to just under 100 horsepower. Uh, should give us a chance to do everything we want to do on here. Uh, which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.